All right, hello there. Um, welcome back to more of this stuff. So, um, okay, it looks like it gives you sort of like a summary, of like a rundown of what you were doing last time in this. So he was hanging out at the Amaguchi's house. Uh, with Shiba. Didn't want to go home. Yeah, okay. So yeah, obviously we can't do that. We're already halfway through his thing, though, so I wonder how much of each ship people have. And of course, you can look at the chart if you so desire. <laughs> and then everybody else is just one thing, so. Uh, we'll pick it up with her. We'll just go in order. Um. <laughs> With games like these, I'm a little boring. Some people may decide to do some in a different order than others, but I'm just going to go mm -hmm. in this way. So. Okay, so they should beat that. You wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes. You must really want that new idol group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like Amikuchi kun. So mm. what? Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Even just watching from afar, it's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Uh, make romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Um. I don't. Can we finish this conversation first? Seriously? <laughs> mm. Well, where were we? Oh, right. I remember now. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Moro walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure. <laughs> and I can sort of understand. As for guys I like... Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. Yeah, I may, I may not be talking too much throughout this thing, because I sort of do want to be paying attention for the most part. So good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yori-chan. Huh? It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. If you a love charm. It's a luck crush, charm. Your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? <laughs> uh. Let's see. Now, where were we? That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. That's mean. Goto-senpai's pretty cute. 
I was able to talk to her, but now I can't. the cat maybe but come on mm. have you seen oh. how the guys react when Mori Mora walks in let's just say they're not looking at her eyes is there a way if I just walk up to it will it run away yeah maybe there's a way I can uh it was that kitty again I don't see it so in the top left there was something there that appeared uh Boys, boys, boys. Okay, what's with the top left shit? Does that show me like the different routes I could be taking? So they've been friends for a while and going places. Somehow it's even better than eating them at home. That's the magic of high school life. But seriously, I'm starving. They did make us run a lot in PE today. The cat's back again? Can I tell them about it? Oh man. Did you see that Usami chan? It was that kitty. Someone After this, you wanted How the fuck do I just go? Did you see that Usami chan? It was that kitty again. All right, well I have no idea how to bring it over. The fuck? Must have taken off already. Must have taken off. Why do they just keep talking about the cat? After this, being in love is. Jesus. I I told her let's go. Why why didn't we go? Romance aside. Good idea. Where should we go? Or did I not? Soft serve has been added. Oh, we could decide where we want to go. Don't you want to try it, Yuri chan? <laughs> oh, I can smell the crepes now. Freshly made. I need it. Which one do you want? Crepes? Soft serve? <laughs> Soft serve place to send new flavor in. Let's go with this first.
All right. God damn, those are, those are some big ass ice creams. <laughs> Wow. It was either this or a chocolate mint. All right, I'm gonna try it. Uh, they only had two. Let's see. <laughs> mm, it's so good. Super sweet. You know what my lucky item is? This, this shit, in my way. She was on a diet. She probably wouldn't be eating soft serve with you. It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like. Mila Chun, you should do it. What the fuck? This is annoying. Don't forget, you got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop! It's so embarrassing. Watching from afar is good enough, but I do envy you, Yui chan You talk to Amiguchi-kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting a lunch break, right? In the passageway? What about? Well, uh... Dreams? Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. It's like your heart back in a warm... Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun's dreams. They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. She gonna recall this? Maybe we're all connected. Okay. Karabi kun. <gasps> oh, Fuyasaka san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so. I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. Amiguchi-kun. I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but it doesn't feel like it's for the first time. <sighs> Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh, Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs, <laughs> walking around, beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh yeah, especially lately. You too, right, Karabe-kun? Mine was about a UFO. I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. There's a lot of sci-fi stuff they've been well, using. In my case, I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that. The truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be Achoo. related, so I thought I should talk to you guys about it. What were hers? What kind of dreams? Dream you just told us about. You know, the tank with legs. I saw something similar myself. For real? I think that was you in my dream, Amiguchi kun. So we're getting a flashback within a flashback. This, this game is ridiculous. <laughs> 
this must be before it was built. But it's kind of sick, also. Like. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. 16 years. Unable to escape. This must be around the time I was born. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? The way in which they time travel does remind me of like Terminator. find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior. Oh. We'll tell you about our battles. We'll the there was a movie sure. where it was like that and then she was like Yeah, Let's that reminded me of this dream I had. Get caught. Let's get out of here. What about that thing? Are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. So he's going by a different name, Tetsuya Yuda. I'll worry about it later. What now, what what name does he I go by in the um in combat? Like in that mode. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Okay, it doesn't look like there's too many alternate routes so far. It's just... If we eat the crepes, we'll get something else. And that, that was like the... To me, a clear... Um, I wonder if we could attract the cat with uh, the crepes or something. Doesn't seem like either way really anyone's upset. <laughs> or does the cat just like run away each time? You didn't get your usual? Chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try. Mm. Yum. Did they do that? Just like some food items are half off. I don't know what the cat's. How is it? I guess it's just uh, not here. So many strawberries, crispy edges, lots of cream. You know, what if I got the tuna in mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey. Oh, okay. Cats can't have crepes. I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, give him those. So you're the one uh -huh. who's feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. I'll keep that in mind next time I see one. Thanks, Miwachan. I'd like to go back to that one place. Well, there's the cat. 2089. That's what year it was in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time 16 years to find me. If that was a real premonition, Something's gonna happen in the year 2105. That's 120 years from now. <laughs> Goddamn. Alright, so let's <sighs> let's see the cat. And then let's At this point we've hit up most restaurants hey. in town. Hey! Miwa Chan! Over here! Oh, one moment. I'll get the treats. <laughs> she already knew. She knew immediately what was happening. Really? There's more than one. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe? Oh, 
You saw that? Oh, that guy's kind of weird, don't you think? So that one's not the same they saw at school. It was. Tell me, think everyone's weird. If he's a guy, he's weird. <laughs> it's only eight ten a.m. Behold. Why is she excited about that? Oh, okay. It's not so bad if I put my mind to it. La la la. Oh, Kitty. <laughs> Early cat gets the mouse, huh? Let me examine it. Oh, he's sleeping. Good morning, Fuyasaka san. It's just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. Kurabe-kun, do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? Yori! Morning! <laughs> Usami-chan! morning what were you guys up to over there oh um just looking at a cat uh -huh. hey can we talk a little more uh, okay megumi oh a ufo huh what happened in the dream every day i have strange dreams they keep me up at night <sighs> so sleepy We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get a flashback within a flashback again. <laughs> uh, 300 meters underground spaceship ruins. The fuck? Juro. Hey there. Oh, goodness, I was worried with you all by yourself. If something were to happen to you, I. Drew, stop. Well, what's happening? I'm flattered you feel that way. Damn. Think about this. Not now. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. But listen, when this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. Oh, hello. There it is again. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. <sighs> you don't have to say it. <sighs> so you remember. I'm so sorry. About your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days and it's only at 1.2%. That's... And that's sure how it feels to upload the fucking YouTube still, videos. The system's logical structure Dude, the... the, the... The storage for the video for the first episode of this was like 34 gigabytes. Which is like more than any like other video I've ever had. Like the, the some of those Persona 5 videos where they've been like 8 hours like me. Like maybe those were a bit more. If you asked me for my best guess, I'd say like that's like a fuck ton of space. In other words, a teleporter. <sighs> Don't give me that look. Hear me out. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't but this alien science alien says otherwise. The same constraints. If my well, actually, what the fuck? Three is correct. We've got an 
I swear I was not reading that. Including those of your parents, <laughs> Morimura san. Guys, come take a look at this. Oh, I have to move. Okay. The analysis took some time, but I found this. No, well, that certainly looks like the city we're used what to. Is that? The map. This relic is enormous. It's thirty kilometers in diameter, and the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. We're only three hundred meters from the surface. Oh, this facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. Those monsters on the surface, are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they... may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. What does it look like to you? This is... A countdown. It started when the kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Since then, the clock's been ticking. What fucking units, like, measurement of time are they using? Also, could you stay on this screen until it goes to zero? Like, how long would that take? <laughs> could you like, could you like sit here and let this thing tick down? We should investigate further. You don't say. Cause like none of none of these units are like a second, you know what I mean. It would take a, an absolute fuck ton of time. Like obviously they would never expect you to actually this sit and wait here. But, but I'm I'm sort of curious. This sort of alien technology, I can hardly believe it. I mean, how long would it take? Like a few hours, so like a day. Zero. What happens? Hmm. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might launch? Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what ifs. We need to find out what's going on. Hey, yup. Okay, was that it from her? Unseal three mystery files. Do we have to go in here and do that? Am I really gonna 100% this game and like get all these fucking things? <laughs> I might. Wait, so how do you buy this shit? Do you have to go... You don't go in here, do you? What the fuck? Oh, you could, uh... Okay. You just, like, go from one to the other with one button. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we might as well do this, I guess. Uh... Where the fuck do you buy the mystery files thing? Is to. Uh, I guess we'll leave out blonde boy for now. Actually, I don't know. Would we rather have a uh, another melee guy and one less of one of these? I mean, it shouldn't matter too much either way. 
I don't know, let me do this shit. We still don't know much about this character. We've seen her like once. But I'm, I'm sure we'll unlock everybody soon enough. Uh, I'll just upgrade like everyone's shit once. This seems fine. Uh, let's do this. Uh. Oh, hella aerial enemies. Oh, I guess I should have looked at like the. Uh... Oops. The EMP is what you want there. They'll come crashing down to punching range. <laughs> Pain in the ass, though. Losing the Type 98 tank was a big factor in the design. The first gen Sentinels went in hard on close quarters combat. They ended up with a focus on raw power over mobility. They didn't know they'd have to deal with these flyers. Hey, hold on a sec, Amiguchi. How do you know all this crap? Well, uh, dude, does go by Amiguchi. Activated to kill all of them. Yeah, oops, I should have looked at like, um. Uh, I'm gonna have him move up a bit and then he could use the anti aerial flares. Uh. Um. Uh, Uh, what I want him to be doing. Number 19, no enemy on the move. How's the sentinel? Uh, let him do this. I don't think so. This seems good. Not throwing away my shot. Enemy on the move. We will not lose. Uh, This guy can't really do anything. <laughs> Cause he just, he did all melee. I'm gonna hope that, uh, the people who spawn here are gonna be melee, or like, or like ground. So I'm gonna move him there. Um, uh, she can... hit these guys who are moving past the, uh, anti-air thing. Keep moving. <laughs> this guy, this guy literally cannot do anything right now. Alright, so they're all aerial. 
Can he, if he leap attacks, can he hit them? I don't think so. <laughs> but he like jumps up in the air. <laughs> Alright, fine. Yeah, that was my mistake. I should have looked at the, um... Don't waste any chances. I'm gonna have a move, uh, over here to set up another anti-aerial thing, I guess. Because, like, I don't know. I'm gonna able to just kill. Now I'm gonna hope that whoever lands like over here is gonna uh, be like melee based, or, like on the ground. Okay. Uh. Don't let up. I mean, yeah, same thing with him. Up a little bit. Number 14. Good. Beginning I'll movement. Make it work. And then there's someone else doing something. Let's see. I'll make it work. Number 12, moving Did out. I'm still not used to this thing. No, screw with me. How's that? Got him. Alright, more flying enemies. Okay, uh, I don't know what this red thing is. I'm gonna guess I'm, I sh probably should not be in it. Okay, let's do this again, because it is quite literally all he can do, and all of his shit is gone. This red circle is. Like, I literally have no idea. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Jesus. 150? Is that 150 kills in one move? These guys can't do shit. That's on me though. I No fight, I can't win. I should I should have read the thing and seen cuz they, they they talked about that last time where like um uh, you could like see before you start the mission like what kind of enemies will show up. So I should have just like gone like no I mean, he, he literally can't do anything. Go over here. 
Go fuck off to your own little corners. Go over here. <laughs> uh, she can still do something. She can still do this. How fucking... How many of them are gonna show up? Oh, I think that oh the the red circle was made by me. Uh, okay. Um. Oops. Yeah. Why don't you move up a little bit? That's a lot of numbers. Right, what should we go for? Should we go for the big boys? I do not care. Do, do, do this. Yeah, do this again. I also didn't use the, um... I didn't use the, um... Whatever the triangle does. Which triangle just, like, absolutely kills fucking everything. For the most part. In addition to, like, the other stuff that I... Excuse me, that I bought. <laughs> I mean, you know, I had two characters who were basically useless, but I still beat it no problem. I wonder if I should switch to hard mode. So some of them know better than the others. Or like know more about it. Okay, brain overload. Yeah, pilots who suffer brain overload can no longer be deployed and must rest for one battle. Sign your pilots on to strike team and defense squad efficiently. We won. Yeah, none of them are actually fighting. Uh, n or neither of those two are actually fighting in that this battle, though. <laughs> will protect everyone. Look at him do doing zero percent. It moved on too quickly. I want to see like how much shit they do. Got him. 
So S rank on any rank will give you the good reward. Uyu Saka on strike team. God damn, fuck, I forgot to, I didn't read that shit. I'm gonna have to fucking replay that level. I'll just, I'll just do this on my own time. God damn it. Whatever. I haven't gotten, do any of the characters have the, uh, whatever the shit, the brain overload? Also, where does it even say their level? Like, it says how much experience they have, but it doesn't indicate, like, what level. Okay, it's in the fucking bottom left. I see. Yeah, I mean, uh... God damn it. I'll just, I'll, on my own time, I'll just do that. That's that's not a problem for me. Uh, yeah, let's continue with this, though. With the simp. There's a cat there. I guess she made the deal with it, right? Why so tense? It's your house. Take a load off. Is it a different cat, like, model than the other one? You must think you're so cool. People notice you're always alone, you know. Aww. Come on, you're always so sensitive. A real high maintenance girl, aren't you? I was trying to say that you're smart. Friends are pointless. They'll all be toast once the end comes. Let's watch some idol shows. Solution. We're gonna make the perfect meal for this guy we like. What should I make for dinner? I don't know, all these sound good. Or I guess both of them. I think Juro would like some fish. I'll grill some mackerel. Juro dreams of sushi. And done. Okay. This looks like the same meal that he like woke up to. First time you saw me, you were all fluffy, fluffy, <laughs> chasing me around with that dumb look on your face. That, that's not true. So, what did you think about your first time? Did you already forget? You know, with the gun and you shooting Renya Goto. Don't say it like that. Don't go all gooey on the inside now. Come on, you can tell me. What was it like? Shooting that pale, arrogant prick. It felt great, didn't it? What is this cat? My first task and why is he the most edgy contract. character we've come the across? Which I sealed. I wonder what happens to them. All right, whenever you're ready. If you're ready, that is. Easy for you to say, but I'm gonna kill him at school. Someone is just... It's not just a gun, it's a magical gun. <laughs> or would you rather it be a magical Is this the shit device? that you could I... set it to no, stun if you I... like and it, it doesn't require bullets, it like just uses you extinguish I don't know, like your energy or some shit. Shoot. Or if they could, they'd thank you for saving them. Still ready or not, here he comes. Hi then. Yakushiji. It was quite unexpected of you to ask for me. What do you need? Um, well... I just wanted to see how things were going. You didn't mean to call me out here to do that. Why didn't you just come to the hangar? I, um, don't 
really like looking at that robot too much. I see. Anyway, we need a password to remove the infection, but it has yet to be found. If you got in the Sentinel right now, you'd likely end up in the same state as Juro. You don't say. Being crazy. Anyway, we need a password, but it has yet to be found. If you got in the Sentinel right, you'd likely end up. You. Anyways. Let's do it. This is I can't just what? Anyway, we need but it you, you, you. you try to leave but they can't just shoot him already, idiot. <laughs> this is insane. I can't Don't worry. We'll find the answer before they arrive. And if you don't... Then we fight with the Sentinels as they are. We couldn't possibly win like that. Maybe so. Why does the cat want her to kill this dude? At least Juro has not lost his ability to fight. <sighs> it seems you have something to say. Go on then. I don't have something to say, have something to do. Is he holding his wrist? Do we shoot him in the wrist? You shot him in the arm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. That'll do. Okay. I can't move at all. Are you sure he's not hurt? Yeah, yeah. He'll just be a little loopy. How am I supposed to face him after this? It's called a magical gun for a reason, I'm not. His memories of before and after being shot will be all fuzzy. Well, that's extremely convenient. A forget bullet? Well, we should probably make ourselves scarce now. Wait! What exactly is he gonna... ...forget about? Before and after being shot will be fuzzy. Only that? Oh. After agreeing to the contract, the first witch I sealed. I wonder what happens to them. It's not something I like to think about. Well, spit it out. I only did what you asked me to do. What I asked you to do? You shot him in the arm from point blank range. I didn't ask you to pull off a stunt like that. But as long as it was on some part of his body, it shouldn't matter where I hit him, right? Oh, maybe I chose the wrong person. This one's got no sense of ownership. Your future's looking pretty bleak, kid. Okay, Oops. eat up. Why do you have to put it so far away? <laughs> Are you trying to annoy I, me? I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh wait, like he actually comments on it and you have to like bring it over. <laughs> Listen, this isn't some idiot child's errand. We have a contract. Do I need to say it slowly for you? I'll grant your wish. And in exchange, you shoot the witches I tell you to. That was the deal. The witches? All you gotta do is shoot them. I don't care where. Where, where are but they called that? Fail. Our contract is broken. Shouldn't you have already made up your mind about this? Yes. I have. Here. Hmm. This will do. That shit ain't gonna be staying hot forever. Oh, 
That reminds me. Make sure the gun is loaded before you use it again. It's still in your bag, right? Well, go on then. Let's see the magical gun. You have to load this it? Gun, is it really magical? <laughs> it's not the exact same gun we saw the uh, blonde guy have. You do see how tall I am. That was like, a, you could like set it to stun or you could set it to kill. <laughs> Basically. Enough magical bullets. Good, good. This one seems like it uses actual bullets. To use this. So always make sure it's loaded. You keep calling this thing magical. So why does it have to be a gun? What does it matter? You'd rather it be a sparkly magical wand? What? <laughs> you want to put on a frilly pink skirt? And wave around your magic stick like some idiot. <laughs> All right, you made your point. It's for you to shoot witches. That's why it's a gun. If we're fighting witches, we might as well be using like a magic wand or some shit. Well, time's up. We'll discuss the next witch tomorrow. Meet me at school. Oh. No, yep. I thought I smelled something good. Have you had dinner? I just made some. Would you like to join me? <laughs> no. I won't fall for that again. I guess this is a different night. stay here the rest of this month. Yes, of course. But I did already make this, so it would be a shame to waste it. Mm. Bro, you're not about to turn this I down. I not want all this to be thrown away. <sighs> Fine. I'll eat. Thank you. Even if she is like a fucking creep, like I am eating that. Like I, I do not give a shit. Is this on the day we saw? Well, who's next? Okay, so this is a Are different you cat. Me because of yesterday. Oh, right. Someone might overhear. I thought we agreed not to be seen together. That's you walked into me. Different times. Meeting like this defeats the purpose. Should we start going together then? <sighs> You're missing the point. Oh. Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi kun. I guess we would have seen uh whatever the other girl like see Amaguchi and be like, oh my god, and then she like runs inside the school. What are you listening to? Just brushing up on my English conversations. Wow. I'm obviously kidding. I'm jamming to rock, of course. Oh. Well, your grades are always so good. It seemed believable. <laughs> you think so? I was wondering, can I come over today? Sure, why not? Great. They're just always mooching off oh, of this right. guy in his house. Gonna swing by the vending machines before class starts. Okay, I'll see you after school. Okay. Uh, asked me to carry this stuff from the old building, you know? That place is freaking scary at night. It's all dark and totally deserted. I heard some shady people hang out there now. Oh, Jiro. Nope. Do you have a minute? Correct. Karabikun, over here. <laughs> She's fucking pissed. <laughs> you just mentioned it. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were into action movies. That one was a masterpiece. Pretty awesome. Lucky you. That series is really cool. You're talking about the Godzilla it thing? All kinds of different kaiju. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? You've never seen it before? 
You're so interesting, Fuyasaka-san. Doesn't wonder she cared about that. That girl. <laughs> she turns out to be a witch. Why are we calling them witches? I, like I really don't get it. Oh, Yakushiji. So you and that girl looks like you two are pretty close. What are you talking about? More importantly, why are you talking to me? We'd get expelled if they knew we were living together. That's why we decided not to talk to each other at school. <laughs> Damn. Why, why is he so, like, against that? Seems like there's really only one, uh... Only one route to this one. I mean, the only thing we could do is go home, right? I'm back. Oh. So you're back. Oh, fine. Just walk right on by like you can't see me. If only a cat could count on a person to wait for them. And, oh, I don't know, actually tell them what their plans are. Bro, what are you talking about? We literally just went to school and went back home. When school is over, hurry your dumb human legs and get to the passageway outside the old building. Now repeat it to me. When school is over, hurry to the old building passageway. Oh, yeah. And how about next time you address me? Show a little respect and use sir. I'm going to be staking out the witch tomorrow. So when school is over, and now... Oh, when... oh sh... I'm going to be staking out the witch tomorrow. So, and now... The fuck? Oh, yeah. Sh... Turn that shit off. Alright, what the hell are we making tonight? Did you make the same thing again? I think we have some fish. <laughs> okay. Let's see if he notices. You're just gonna start cooking like nothing happened. It's like you're more cat than I am. <laughs> Will it matter at all? And done. <laughs> the exact th same oh, thing two nights in a row. He's coming. All right, listen up. I'll be waiting for you after school. It's even laid out in the same way. Forget. <laughs> I don't know why I find this funny. I thought I smelled something good. <laughs> he doesn't even notice. Have you had dinner? I just made some. Would you like to join me? <laughs> no. I won't fall for this. He's just like shulk. He'll just eat whatever. Here the rest of this month. Yes, but I did. It would be a shame to. Okay. Okay. I can't even talk to him this time. Hello there. I thought we agreed not to be seen together. That's why we've been leaving at different times. Meeting like this defeats the. <sighs> You're missing the. Po oh. Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi kun. Morning. What are you listening to? Just the same thing. Oh, now that everybody's gone, I can talk to him. After school, oh. Old building passageway. Got that. I see. Why did they talk about the same thing again? Like that's that's mildly annoying. The teacher asked me to carry this stuff from the old. I heard some shady people hang out there now. 
All right. Fluffy's waiting for me. Is Fluffy his actual name, or was that just the name she gave them? Is that the other cat? There's nobody here. Why are you hiding? Is it a here, trap? Kitty. The hell are you doing? Huh? But you were just over there. All right, crazy. Come on, it's time to work. Why are there two cats? The next witch is inside the old building. He's a boy with short hair. And is wearing a school uniform with no buttons. So, I just shoot him and his powers The blonde one? Right? Uh-huh. Now, there could be one small hiccup. He's got a very not magical gun, and he might use it on you. Oh, I see. That seems like a pretty big hiccup to me. So it is. It is well, that blonde guy. Never been shot before. It hurts. So. Uh. He'll probably have it set to stun, so you don't have to worry that much. Let's see how it goes down. I guess. Let's talk out loud so that the guy with the gun finds us. I'd just be like, damn. No more free meals. He's not here. Not necessarily. He could be here. like that you're not sneaking up on anyone that way so you've been hiding you're from sector three <gasps> you're from back then so you're the one you're one of juro's friends what are you doing here it doesn't concern you why does the school uniform have no buttons who are you being used by i'm fine with being used if it's for juro I'll do whatever I have to. Wait. <laughs> okay. Twenty twenty-five. Juro, where are you? The last place the Sentinel was seen. It should be somewhere nearby. Juro's in there. But where's Juro? Juro, where are you? He's probably dead. He couldn't possibly still be in there. Now this is the familiar sight. Izumi. So, so he He's knows her. Alive. Go find 
find help. There doesn't seem to be anyone around, but they have to still be here somewhere. That's what you said. I just have to find them. Wait. Juro? <sighs> Wait. Please. Don't go. But Juro... You're hurt. We need to get help. I need you to stay, please. Everything's so dark. I can't see your face. Why? Why did you get in that sentinel? You knew this is what would happen. <laughs> There's so much shit, like, what is, what is this? What was important to you? I wanted to... Protect... You. Juro! Literally, how does any of this make sense? So he's, like, dead. damage to your brain of course you do is destroyed in worst case you become a husk <gasps> just being inside for a few minutes can be fatal Izumi endured that pain he fought in there for over two hours he displayed incredible when we're doing those fights and shit they're in there for like a few minutes don't you they're in there for like at least five minutes or well actually no because like you're like playing the maps for maybe like five or ten minutes, but like the actual amount of seconds that pass are like way less. So you're one of his comrades. Yeah, they're in there for like it, like two minutes, I think. There must be something you can do. Izumi was a dependable and true ally. I will mourn this loss as well. So he's dead, as as Izumi. Like, how did he... Was he brought back to life and that's when the memories didn't kick in? Because we, we saw them and he was like, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do this shit. And then they... Like, I don't know. I right, so yeah, there was only one route with that. Uh, why do I have... Unseal. How do I do that? Contain detailed information of it. Why am I getting the tutorial now? I don't get it. Uh, but okay, so this is where we could buy this shit. What, what the hell do we want? Yeah, give me information about all these. Yeah, look at all the shit we could read. Joy's B movies. And enjoys watching kaiju videos every night. Every night. <laughs> the fuck? He feels something off about his everyday life. During Battle of 2025, he sustained brain damage and was nearly reduced to an empty husk. Morimura created a new personality and implanted it in him. Okay. In the Battle of 2025. But like what we, the cutscene we just saw, that was during 2025. So he didn't die there, he became an empty husk. Okay. Because if he died there, that, that would have made no sense. Like, at all. 
God, look at all this shit. She excels and fails in specific subjects. Suffers from insomnia, oversleeps, and even frequently dozes off. It's love at first sight. Um, comes from the future. Destroyed by the world of 2025. Uh... She names Fluffy. Okay, cool. See, this thing is already answering my questions. This, like, database. This is, like, very needed. I don't want to take up too much time doing this because I'm not sure how exciting that is. <laughs> I, I assume I'll just unlock them on my own, and then um, if I find anything interesting, I'll um, sort of show it off. But, yeah, so we could unlock these now, but... Uh... I, mean, I don't know, we could just also keep going with this. Or actually, wait. I probably should have done like a fight or something. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. Oh, whatever. What do we have to think about? Details about the dead woman I found. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. Sakura High School. Isn't that where the ID card came from? A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot, did I kill him? So I'm from another world? I said so in that message to myself. I must have still had my memories when I left it. I also said something about a way to escape this world. Mm -hmm. Sakura High School. Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. She definitely looks familiar. But from where? Why can't I remember? The note said f what? There's an a oral as long but what? And I'm Okay, uh Maybe if I find this Fuyusaka person. I'll finally remember something. Mm -hmm. Come in. Are you there? Uh. I know you can hear me, Seki. Don't be a fool. <laughs> yeah, let's answer it. That is a big ass radio thing. So you're the one who wrote those instructions. I can't remember anything. That's exactly why I've contacted you. Listen, it's not safe out there. Don't trust anyone. Anyone? Including you? Better to be too careful than too careless. Otherwise, you'll never escape from this world. Escape? In the meantime, just stay put and don't go far. I'll see what I can do about your pursuers. You'll hear from me again soon. It disconnected. to myself should I really just wait for him to contact me again no he said not to trust anyone and that includes him you can walk into this phone booth oh okay you can actually use it could it be a phone number that's what I was thinking is it actually bruh all right, well, good to eliminate that. Both the victim and the owner of this ID card 
They're from Sakura High School. Maybe this female student knows something. Seems like the whole story revolves around that plot. Once day breaks, I'll pay a visit to the school. As it, implying he wasn't going to previously go to school. Sounds like school just started. I'm so late. She got bandaged. Crap. I need to drop by the track room first. Hmm. No sign of her. There's this cat though. Nori Fuyusaka. This cat is watching this conversation. I couldn't stop thinking about you. But now I'm just relieved to see her safe. What is happening? Have they like hung out? They're summoned. Oh, that's right. He lost some of his memories and shit. Has he just held on for to her fucking thing the the entire time of knowing her? Because okay, so they got to know each other, and then he lost his memories, and he still like has this book. He like never gave it back. Because when when she first dropped it, they didn't know each other at all. You know what this is? Pills? <laughs> no, those aren't mine. We're just gonna ask her everything. Are We're just gonna pull out a bunch of random shit and be like, "Is this yours?" My mistake. These are mine. What are they for? Are you sick? I'm fine. It's nothing to worry about. Iori, was there something you wanted to tell me? Huh? Well, like I said before. I still like you. Even if it is one sided. <laughs> You're just like, bro. Shihiro Morimura. She's the school nurse here, right? Huh? Yeah, she is. What about her? <laughs> oh my god. Ever since well, she is her, though. She like. Hasn't come back to that in the future she becomes her. Which day? The day I heard about Miss Morimura's secret. Uh, I'm sure she's fine. Morimura's secret. We must accept our fate. Huh? <laughs> That's not good. It's okay. He's gone. Thanks. Shihiro Morimura, 31. A key member of Shikishima's what the... Oh no! My first class is about to start! So this is, uh, obviously he's experienced the thing where he like saw her dead. So is she like dead in like whatever time this is? Because I don't know if he like went to another time or some shit. The cat went away. We must accept our fate. That's what Chihiro Morimura said. It's hazy, but I think I remember. Ah, uh, yes. Let us recall. What? 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 What went down? What exactly happened? Oh. Well, clearly that. 2064. So this is where you've been. Figured I'd give the area an advanced survey. Quite Who's that? Tetsuya Ida. Worth taking in so this is that. Uh, Ag Agi Gucci. What the I fuck is his name? Ago Gucci. We weren't prepared for that. When he's older. I certainly hope so. 
We've managed to prepare 19 sentinels. And we've had 19. Results in our battle simulation. That's way too many. That won't mean much if our enemies have a We don't need 19 of them. It seems our victory ultimately depends on luck. So let's assume we're met We still literally have no idea how like the sentinels work if or like time, where they come from. Form another loop. And we'll start how, how like any of them gained access to it. Have a greater chance of success that way. <laughs> Like, will we ever? No more running away. If we don't settle this here, then I'm initiating Operation Aegis. So you intend to close the loop, then? If you do, no one will be able to leave. At the very least, we'll survive. You expect us to grow old and die in this godforsaken place? When that time comes, we must accept our fate. In any case... Yes. If we win now, we can avoid such an outcome. Then we'll finally be able to leave this world and... <sighs> Sekigahara-kun. How long have you been standing there? Neither. <laughs> I don't know who you people are or where you came from. And frankly, I don't care. Just as long as you can defend my city from the kaiju. Without retreating, that is. You'll be the one in the Sentinel protecting the city. We're counting on you. Did he already know that this would be a thing? Well, that would be I happening. Assume you have some questions for me. There's something I need to confirm. If I keep my end of the bargain, then you're going to stop using Ryoko Senpai, right? Please understand. So this happened before he lost his memories. I'll try to be more careful going forward. For the Sentinels you want command over, you require third generation machines, right? Correct. Then I'll update their systems as promised. Though I have to ask, why are you having me do this? Wouldn't it be faster to go directly through Morimura? Does he pilot a third generation command one? Command is in order, and I'd like it to be done without her knowledge. Depending on how the situation unfolds, there's a possibility she may resort to drastic measures. Is that what she was just talking about? This... Operation Aegis? <laughs> That's right. Close the loop? What are they talking about? Are they planning on abandoning the city? No. I can't let that happen. I need more details on this so-called operation. Something else? As a matter of fact... Operation Aegis. What is its purpose? The enemy's main target is the underground mainframe. Each terminal is equipped with a self-defense protocol. However, the enemy's attacks seem to bypass it. So the moment they strike, we'll hack the terminal. This will activate the defense protocol. The Aegis system. Isn't that a good thing? Not exactly. Doing so will render our time machine useless. And that means we can never start over again. What's so bad about that? It doesn't matter as long as we succeed, right? Time will cease to flow in this world. When it does, everything will descend into chaos. And in the end, we'll be the only ones left behind in this hellscape. <sighs> We still don't really know the true reason why, like, they need to be using time travel and shit. Complete Natsuno Minami's exterminator event. Was this just one path? I guess it was. Okay, let's do let's do a uh, a fight. Um, I right, guess so. Kisaragi on the who's Kisaragi? Her. Okay, I was going to use her anyways. Maintain a terminal defense rate of 60% or higher. I don't know what that means, to be honest. Alright, let's just bring in whoever's the lowest level. Where do I see... Uh... Where do I see the notes on the...
the notes on like the the like level like the enemies and shit I swear that was a thing that they like mentioned Okay, I see. B O L. So everybody's at a. Uh... Oh, is that the the thing on the top? I guess that's their uh, B O L. Okay, so that's what that meant. Uh, well, let's just bring in whoever's like the lowest level, I suppose. Uh, like her. And the the rest of them are level three, so. I don't know, it shouldn't matter too much who's in and who's out. Let's go. Uh, fucking... Oops. God damn it. Uh, this seems fine, I think. Where it got if it's only um, aerial ones again. Look at it. It's like a tripod. Oh, that's a high quad. I just bought one earlier. It's basically just a huge crane, though, right? Don't underestimate it. That thing's set with all kinds of weapons and defensive devices. The yeah, I got a hell of help. To watch out for. Sentinel armor doesn't stand a chance against it. But it's just a big dumb crane. Why did you put all the weapons on it? Once they started facing resistance, they updated their designs, trying to match our own force. Wait, you mean those things only have weapons because the sentinels showed up? Maybe. But we can still take them down. At least we probably can. Keep it together. Everything will work out. How do you know that, Megumi? They're coming. Be careful. We're toast if we don't win here, right? So? Let's get out there and fight back. Activate this or, or destroy all kaiju. Okay. Okay, here's the plan. Okay, uh, well, what do I want to do? There's shit that's going to be landing there. There's an absolute fuck ton of them. But they're all, they're all very spread out, like... Uh, okay. Well, what do we want? We want to start moving people up, I guess, to somewhere. That guy can now attack him. Um, I don't know if I care or not. There is a missile there, though, so. That thing hasn't landed yet, so we don't quite know what it is. Start dealing with that. 
I don't know, maybe you should also... Oh, he should have fucking set up a sentry gun to... I forgot he had this. Okay, uh... What do we want? Something like this. I barely did anything. Uh... The fuck is the EMP stunner? Alts of movement and drops aerial cage. Okay, so this is like the straight line shoot that goes really far. Uh, well, we should probably, uh, I don't know, take out this guy first. Hold up. Okay, uh... Oh, there's about to be a bunch of enemies that are going to spawn here. Uh... Number 16, moving in. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. I guess life comes at you fast. Let's have him do another. This is going to look dumb, but... Actually, I'll just have him rush attack from this side, and then just, like... Have him push the guy, like, over here. Okay, uh, what is happening? Why don't you go over here and just get rid of these guys? Okay, uh, so... Um, and this is like pretty useful, but like I don't know how many of them are going to be taking damage that we care about, to be honest. So, I wonder if she should just do this. Or maybe I should have moved slightly for the missiles that were there. This guy could just like fucking solo this thing, honestly. Like, look at that. Do not fuck with the melee dudes. Okay, so what do we want to do? Do we want to send this guy away? Like, do we want to send him, like... Over that way? Okay, uh, let's move this guy back over here. Uh, what do I want? The EMP stunner isn't that useful, to be honest. Alright, you know what? Let's use the, um... Do this. There's, like, a lot of enemies all around. Um... We could do something like this, I guess. Nice. That did a lot of damage. Uh, okay, uh, I guess we'll just have him move. Uh, where do we want him? 
I'd say uh, like all of these guys can finish off that, but he we could have him move. Uh, start moving over this way. I probably want to move her out of that. This isn't that good, but we can do it. Hopefully this will kill like most of those things. Yeah, we're getting to the point uh, where, like, level-wise, like, they're not quite, like, killing everything um, in one shot. Like the, like the smaller ones. Alright, go over here. Start killing this guy. We could ever do this again. I only killed one of them? And you know what, let's just have him kill this thing. Got him. Enemy down. Next move. Okay, uh, Stay well... What's optimal? Number 22, oh, advancing. We must win. I won't give up. Can you destroy both of those things? Those uh, missiles? Seems that way. Okay, uh... Okay, let's uh, start moving him up so he can assist with the, the melee combat. And we could do this. Oh, but now he's gonna get smacked with the missiles. Uh, Let's have her also move up. I guess life comes at you fast. Oh, he could just narrowly evade the missiles like a boss. They might as well just move closer, so they can kill them easier. Back up a little bit. Bruh, come on. 
Now we're gonna do this. This could have hit them. Even though it probably won't do that much. Good. Signal offline. What can I do? So I didn't this game. And he can actually finish that off, but he'll actually can kill this one also, which has more health. So those are missiles. Oh, and he can now he could kill this one. <laughs> okay, we should just let him do all the work. A lot of the city is fucking burning them. I don't know if that was like preventable or some shit. Five pilot skill. I'll protect you all acquired. The fuck? I guess he's the first to hit level five. When they hit five, they get like a new thing. I'll have to see what that is. Nice. Uh, did I get this thing? Cool. 2025 chocolate. Let me see what the, um... Okay, see, like, they're overloaded. So, what happens? Do they, like, reset for, uh, one thing? I don't really know how it works. Clear within 60 seconds. City defense rate. Time of clearing, 60% or higher. Okay, uh, so... Is the only way to recover to do this? To get rid of the win streak bonus? Uh, I guess we'll find out when I use the other characters, but, uh... What the fuck? I wanted to look at him. What did he unlock? Was it something that I can view here, or... What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, I'll protect you. More members on the strike team, the higher all stats increase. You could turn these on or off. <laughs> Wait, so how does this work skill work? Does it work like... all The higher all stats increase. Does that mean like he just gets increased stats for having... More characters on the team or like if they're like buffs then he gets more stats for each buff but we haven't really seen that have we i i still don't really know at all what all the stats mean i mean speed is like movement speed because like the flying ones are all gonna be like faster by a lot also acc i don't like what is that okay level 5, 10, yeah, so every 5 they, they get one of these. 
Uh, okay, this is the Sentinel upgrade that we heard about. I don't know. How do you unlock? Okay. Oh, okay. Area 2, wave 1 cleared. And then you unlock being able to do that shit. Okay, I see. Uh, oops. Well, let's continue with this. Uh... More Wally shenanigans. Oh, ah, jeez. You really gotta stop doing this. Sentinel number seventeen, created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. Oh, that's right, BJ. His name is BJ. He's an alien that came from a highly civilized planet. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Buddy, you can't be quiet if we're gonna keep you hidden. Let's go. Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? Let's go. The gate. He wants to go there now. I do feel bad locking you up in here, but I don't know where else to keep you safe. It's like I told you this morning. The thinker. Let us let us recall the morning. Sorry, BJ, but if I left you in my room, my brothers would come in. They'd be able to find you even if you were hiding. Once school's over, I'll help you find what you're looking for. You just gotta be a good boy until then, okay? Yeah, you know. Shh, you gotta stay quiet or those men in black will find you. They really do seem to be everywhere. Yeah, you know. Shh. You gotta stay quiet or those men in black will find you. They really do Anyway, see ya. Get out of here. I'll come back during break. Just stay quiet until then, okay? So you're gonna be a good little alien, right? That means you gotta stay in there. I'm sorry I have to make you wait, but I'll be back soon. Back soon. Oh, not again. Not to know? Oh, hi. That box on the floor, it's yours, right? Uh, um, why? You always put it in your locker. Oh, you saw, huh? What is it anyways? A clock? Uh, um, what it is, is, uh, well, it's a, it's a secret. Oh, I get it. Another silly UFO thingamajig. Whatever, just put it away before Senpai sees. Oh boy. She's gone now. <sighs> my room gets raided by my little brothers pretty often. Dang. No way, I can't leave BJ at home. Raided how? Track room. No one goes in there until after school. What are they taking? Just like random shit, like money. He wants to go back to the shrine. <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information, after all. We must go, 
Get in the bag, and Nebby. You have any idea, do you? What would happen if they found you? You'd end up in Area 51, dissected on a table. Facts. Let me get the fuck out of here. Yeah, crisis averted. Let us go to the shrine. You would think the men in black would want to be like more inconspicuous. Okay. So they wouldn't be wearing like the sunglasses and like the suit. They would just be dressed as like a normal person. Well, let's start with one. That sounds good to me. Oh. I see. Bomber. Well, we, we could just go in numerical order. Bruh. Okay, so that's sector two. Like, whatever that means. Sector, uh, how that should go. Is that what they call it? In Japan, they don't call it World War II. I guess because they weren't involved in World War One, or were they? No way! How cool is this? I, I don't think they were right. Fuck! I just rested my controller on my leg, and then I like. As I picked it up, I like slapped it out of my lap. This building is all old and musty in my time. This shit musty. It smells like fresh wood. They must have just built the place. This all feels like a dream. Check it out, BJ. She's having a fun ass time going through time and shit. You can drift back and forth through time, can't you? Not to know. I know, I know. We have to be careful. But like, it would be fun. Anything in the past. Or else we'll totally screw up the future. If we're 40 years in the past, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. I'd love to see that. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? There's something old to know. Man, okay. This is my classroom. The sign looks a little different, though. So, is the sentinel here? I have detected a drone signal. An active sentinel is present. So... <laughs> Someone's here. We've gotta hide. Is that one of the characters the older? Right on time. Here's your pill supply for the month. Pills. Wait a minute. Last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be honest with me. The pills you've been giving me. New pill lord just dropped. Future, but these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take Now these are the magical pills. They let you see the future. You must continue your treatment. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These girl. Don't feel like Trust me. Is she just a generic person? Original state. 
we're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait! I can't forget. It's our only hope of survival. Uh, it's no use. I can't remember. The weapon at Ayame Pass. No. I can't remember anything. Was that Goto-senpai? How's that even possible? How could he be here? 40 years in the past. So she's like the only character who's been like, like questioning this shit and like, cause she's figuring out about other people time traveling too. So she's sort of like the audience shooing for, for like sort of view of like the new, like the concept of time travel and doing that and stuff. Get in the bag. Well, there it is. <laughs> Can you try not to ditch me? Can't believe we're running around in a military base. What if they find us? So this is the Sentinel. It's huge. How does someone lose something so freaking big? The Sentinels are linked to the shifter. It was shifted here. Crazy. Anyhow, I'm just glad we found it. This is Sentinel number 19. Sentinel not created to fight against. It's also right. You said number 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel number 17. Number 19 belonged to his comrade. I cannot pilot his Sentinel. What happened to him? So are we trying to help BJ pilot? Do you mean he's... One of them? But you're saying I couldn't do that. He's dead. He's dead? The pilot of 19. Who pilots 19? PJ. I guess we'll find out when we go back to uh, the other thing. The battles. I don't really know what that means. Maybe one of the people here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Someone's coming. Quick, get in the bag. I don't understand. Why is Professor Doji suspending operations? I know the Sentinel like the back of my hand, and I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform at full power. So, why... All right, I guess this is how she met him. Starting to sound like Takatoshi san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, I'll be ready to lay down my life. And even if it never does, I'll still be ready. He's gonna fight too? Dang! Now someone's coming from the other way. Jeez. <clears throat> She's just surrounded. It's been a while, number 19. Let's have a look at you. Huh. Well, it looks like an alternate route was successfully created. It actually worked. Why is it showing brains? It's my second test subject, no less. Impressive, Keitaro Miura. Nanomachine reconstruction agitates the brain, but you endured the process without losing your mind. Is she looking at his brain? I'll be able to take over the I guess. 
Somehow that data is like stored in the Sentinel. Professor Doji's security detail will return any moment. As promised, Who is Doji? We, we, I don't think we've heard of him before. And there's one more thing before this scene. Just for good measure. Or maybe we have, I don't know. As long as they come into contact with Miura kun the data should spread to the others. Who was that guy? Oh, he should leave. Let's <laughs> hurry. Okay. You're right. There's a, there's a lot of moving parts to this. A lot of people just sort of doing their own thing. And you don't exactly know if they're necessarily allied with one side or the other. Why could we only teleport at the shrine? Oh, I guess it's probably like a secure location because it's like it doesn't change much over time. Like the building Someone's still coming. stays here. But like if you just teleport like... Quick, like 10 meters to the right and like... In like the trees or something like you might like teleport inside a building or something and be, you'd be fucked i guess i don't know they probably explained why they wanted to go to the shrine once again we are hiding behind the same tree was someone just here it seems this gate has been compromised as well i'll set it back to its original key i'd best take my leave Cause it seems to be a common point of traveling because that, that, that character's time traveled from here twice we've seen and then they could block it now he the gate? is he an alien too he the key. I can no longer shift Seriously? We can't go home? Analysis will be complete in can't go 78 home. hours and 24 minutes. I can't stay here that long. Can't we find another way back to the future? The gate and the sentinel are the only safe methods of shifting. The sentinel? What was that just now? Someone else is coming. We're gonna get him in and interrupt him. It came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Shihiro's probably worried about me. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze. <laughs> Who are you? Okay, so now we unlock his thing. I figured at some point we we must have been able to. Oh well, <laughs> some shit is going down in his story. Uh, all of these. Just have oh hello, alternate routes you say. But we're not able to actually do that until we complete Yuki Takamiya's girl with red glasses. I wonder why they have us, like the requirements for going back is is so specific. I I doubt we could have done any of these other ones without doing this one first. So yeah, clearly there's different shit we could do rather than shifting from there. Uh, it's been a minute since we've had an alternate um, thing. Uh, yeah, let's do more of this, though. Okay. Uh, clear within 60 seconds. Where the fuck can we see the uh, screen for... Uh,
Um. Okay. No problem. I'm there. Um. Leave it to me. I should probably upgrade some of these for some people. I wish you could sort of see like the range of them in battle, like from this menu. Cause I don't really know what the fuck stun knuckles are. Okay, so it seems like some of these are like upgraded versions of the other ones. Like this is main battery mega railgun, uh, three thousand seven hundred power, six seconds wait, uh, which is like a powered up version of this. Yeah, I see. Okay. Do we really want leg spike? I don't know what the overheating means. I mean, like we could keep this because I'm sure it's good on like the bigger ones, like the 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 tougher enemies. Our mounted convergence laser laser shield matrix. Uh, what the fuck is our mounted converge shit? Does anybody have it? Um, who's I looking at? Yeah, what the fuck are these? Sorry that I'm taking like a second to look at this shit. Uh, well, we could give him this, I guess, and we'll replace it with one of these. Is there anyone else I'm using who has the shield thing? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, do I really need the shield matrix? I'll have him do that.
I like the sentry guns. Those are fun. Let's see how these things work. The arm mounted convergent, la convergent lasers. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, right here it says some shit. Uh, self destruct drum mine kaiju will appear. Okay. Mystery files. Okay. So, yeah, right there, the kaiju trend will tell you, like, what types of enemies will show up. Okay. Um. Uh, We get bento with meatballs if we if we clear within 60 seconds and the shit's normal. So far, I think we've been completing them within 60 seconds. I don't really know. I'm not like quite certain, like 100%. Um, yeah, so those things like self-destruct. I guess it'll tell us here. We have to deal with these now. This isn't gonna be pretty. Drum mine. We don't have that many methods of knocking them away, though. Like, the one consistent one I can think of is the, uh, like, schmack. Like, the one that just punches. But, like, we don't really want to be that close to them, I don't think. I mean, do what? Do we want to keep the melee guys away from them, or do we want to, do we want to send it at them? Draw back the dude who I just threw over there. <laughs> um, I have this guy start moving over here to deal with some stuff. She could also do the same thing, I think. Sort of awkward. I don't really want to kill them yet because then that guy's gonna fucking get killed by the the shit. Number nine, shy. Movement. Number ten, moving no out. fight, I can't win. Number twenty. Okay, let's do this. Right, how big is their explodey radius? Do we know? Like, will get, he get hit by that, or is it the yellow right there? That's like the explosion radius. Okay, cool. Well, you got you got out of it somehow. Um. Number eleven. Okay, moving out. What now? Number ten. Moving out. the plan? Are these all okay? So there's a bunch of aerial ones, and then there's these. Uh. Well, this. Will this be like too far out in front of him? I guess it'll hit them a little bit.
What's our plan? Out. We don't really want to kill either of those guys because they're right in range of the uh, other characters, so... I want him to move away. Uh, and once he's out of range, then I can have someone else deal with it. Alright, that should be fine. Got him. Okay, so... Where was the other one? Or did it explode? The fuck? I guess it's gone. Uh, so there's gonna be another one that shows up over there. Yeah, once again, the melee characters are, like, sort of, um, they're not, like, weak or anything, it's just sort of awkward to use them. Can the explosions hit the aerial fighters? Like, the self-destruct thing? I wonder. Plan. Is this multi target or is it just one thing still? Alright, cool. Next. I barely did shit though. I forgot she has a fucking, um, she has a sentry gun that she could have been using. Uh, we don't want to kill those guys because they're right on top of them. Um, yeah, it's like a little awkward. Let's have him do the long range shit. Do we want to do that or do we want to do this? This could hit more of them. They don't stand a chance. Did I get it? Threat suppressed. As long as I can keep this thing moving. Still not used to this thing. Number 21. Oh, I do. Number 10. Right now. Number 11. Hostile. Okay. So if he like just did like a rush attack and that this like pushed it away. Got him. Oh I see, but there are ways we could use that because that, that like pushed it pretty damn far. Now. 
Do we push this guy into the uh, other ones? Oh. Oh, so it's not like we're just when they die, it's like they have to activate the self-destruct shit. So like, for example, like this guy right now, he's doing the self-destruct thing. Um, okay, I, I, I think I get it. Um, well, what do we want to do? Do we want to um, do this again? It's just, that one's just a useful one, just like AOE circle damage. Um better put on a show for you can show. As long as I can keep this thing moving. Uh let's have her put a sentry gun over here. In anticipation of these guys showing up. Okay, let's do this. Cool. Uh so now it's just the other guy over there. Wait, if I just kill them? Okay, so I, I think I misunderstood the... Um, I, I misunderstood the self-destruct thing. I thought, like, if once once they die, like, no matter what, they'll do, like, the, the shit where they explode, but th they only do that by, like, activating a skill for themselves. <laughs> Alright, well, let's have you move up. Number 10, moving out. Here they come. Incoming heat signature from above. No point overthinking it. They ought to be used to fights by now. No uh, well, what do we want? It. Do we want to, uh... What's best? <laughs> So I'm, I'm about 30 seconds in to this one. What do you do? You kill this thing. Come on. Take it. Got him. That's what you get. Termination of enemy signals. Hell yeah. Easy. Okay, so number 19 is that it's guy. Hitara Miura. So whoever was piloting it, piloting it before him is dead. But he did, we know he did take that over and is now using 19. Yeah, they're doing this stuff where it's like, what are we fighting for? People are dying.
fight is far from over. Damn, that guy's level six. Gotta stay calm. Okay, a bunch of people are now level five, so. Oh, I see. Look, I only had two people on defense because the other ones were, uh. Like, out of it. Did we get both of these? I think so. Yep. Hell yeah. Bento with meatballs. Alright, we gotta read that shit immediately. But first, let me see, um. You'll face large aerial kaiju in this wave. These aerial kaiju have high HP and anti-air armaments. Aren't very effective against them. Given their low power. Anti-ground armaments, though, though powerful, won't even reach them. This is where EMP skills such as EMP Attractor come in handy, allowing first-generation sentinels to attack enemies with powerful anti-ground. Oh shit, actually? That's a thing. Unlock and equip EMP skills. Yeah, I should get that. That sounds epic. Yeah, so it looks like... Um, once you go, like, one round with them, they'll, like... Uh, or, like, one uh, battle without them, they'll, like, reset. Um, maximum four characters, team members. Oh. It wants me to do this with four team members. Player without Sentinel being immobilized. City defense rate at time of clearing 70% or higher. Interesting. That sounds kind of hard. Um, so who the fuck got stuff? Motorcyclists. Move speed increases when not piloting a Sentinel. <laughs> well, hopefully, I mean, the... I don't know, like, I don't, I hope that that doesn't need to activate too often. Gotta stay calm. Defense and WT recover speed increases temporarily when Kaiju appear. That's decent. Uh, now Natsuno san. If Minam, Minami attacks after Miura, attack increases. Which one's, okay, her, that makes sense. Why is that? That is so specific. Her attack increases or his attack increases? And is it just is it the attack stat or is it the specific like attack move that they use? I don't like it when these skills are like a little vague about shit. I got this. The less members on the strike team, the higher stats increase. So we should use her in the next fight. Or unless she's uh she's conked out, I guess. She's gonna be overloaded, yeah. Well, let's continue with the other stuff. Uh, with this guy, I suppose. Twenty-one eighty-seven. This is the furthest in the future we've seen. That's me, Nami. The All fuck? Take is four more orbit stops. You doing okay? Still getting used to zero G and trying not to puke. As for the project, we've got a few complications. We've got the ethics committee breathing down our necks. Didn't know space exploration was a matter of ethics. No, they're all worked up about our machines. Their self-replication is what's making the board nervous. It may lead to the invasion of intelligent life or something. They're worried about a war with aliens that might not even exist. Shouldn't our ethics team be more grounded in reality? You're one to talk. Still reading about history 24-7? Yeah, it's fascinating stuff. I'm reading about the Pacific War right now. 200 years ago, right? When this all started? Part of a world war involving countless powerful nations. It reshaped the way we approach technology and ideology. Like I said, fascinating stuff. If I could pick an era to be born in, I'd live around then. Sounds like a big mess to me. 
Bro, you do not want to live in that. <laughs> if you'd like, I could send over some light reading on it. I think I'll pass. So, any idea when we can meet up again? Wait, so why is he calling it the Pacific War at this point in time? Like, is he still, like, technically Japanese? Like, is Japan still, a, like, a nation? Good. They still call it that? Nineteen forty four. This is the first time we've seen that sort of narration or like journal type entries. Are you glad you're here in nineteen forty four? Akatoshi Hijiyama. Yeah, we've seen this guy. A brand new schoolhouse with all its luxuries and not a single student attending. Well, this is the uh, guy who gets, factories. who has like the long hair. I know we're in a state of emergency. Just a shame that it's come to this, I suppose. He's a year above me, but we're the same age. We grew up in the same town together. He was such a mess. Seems like he's shaped up, though. He's found a certain dignity ever since he enlisted. I heard a rumor from the Marines at the port. They say we have no ships left. That it's a hopeless war. I mean, you read the history, you know what happened. You resent being drafted? No, just, of all people, why'd they choose me? Don't let your nerves get to you again. You'll get to fight for your country before your peers. That's an honor and a privilege. You know, yeah, send our kids to a war to die. And you'll know this war is ours. At what exactly? I can't say too much out here, but we have a secret weapon. Our own key to victory. You'll see it in the armory soon enough. <laughs> but we're just students. Why do we have access to something so secret? Because we've been chosen as pilot cadets for that very weapon. But keep it quiet. Maximum level security. Not even your family can know. Understood. A secret weapon powerful enough to win the war. And out of all the potential pilots across Japan, they chose me. What can I do? Will I be any help at all? So what is this new weapon? We've been calling it a Sentinel. A heavily armored craft that requires a pilot to operate. It'll help us gun down the enemy at our shores. <laughs> this is the first time we're being introduced to this. Coming for us. This is amazing. We've been forced to abandon many of our posts overseas. At this rate, like, like given given a more like official like uh, introduction, like explanation of what it is. This on the mainland. Of just like that basic sort of intro. Of this sentinel. <laughs> but they're good hands. A single sentinel rivals aircraft carriers in terms of power. What like six or seven hours in almost. Match an entire military on its own. Whatever they've got will keep our homeland safe. And one day, we'll take the fight to American soil. Huh. Nice, I didn't think anyone else would come here. I'll see who it is. Tamao-san. So this is where you've been hiding. Takatoshi-san. We started talking with, uh... Such a gentleman now. Hey, Tamal-san. What brings you here? Goto or whatever his name is. Um, I had to see Keitaro son off. And, and I assume the girl with him is that actually like the guy. The Okino or whatever. I wanted to give you this. Is she like his teacher or something? Some ohagi for you. Maybe you and Takatoshi san can share them. Well, I am partial to Ohagi. The rations don't give us that much sugar. I'm afraid they won't be very sweet. I'm sure they'll be delicious. Thank you. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, I invited her along. Pardon me, but... Have we met? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. It's fine. You really don't have to introduce me. But he's asking about you, Kiriko-chan. 
Oh, okay, it is Kiriko just without the glasses. Kiriko Doji, sirs. Uh, I'm, uh, Doji. So is she like the daughter of that one, um, was it like a doctor or professor or someone? Any relation to Professor Hazo, don't oh, okay, yeah. I'm his daughter. I hope that doesn't bother you. No, far from it. I just never... Oh, wait, no, the... Would be so, uh... Okay, we know all this. I, I, I confused her with the, um... The other girl who's got like the blonde hair and the pigtails. Though I didn't realize he was a professor. Professor Doji's here. If he's at the armory, that can only mean. That's enough, Keitaro. His involvement with the new weapon is highly confidential. I mean, damn it. Oh, don't worry, we won't tell. You're pretty funny. Keitaro-san, do you know where you'll be stationed? He'll be working alongside me. The armory's not too far from here. However, it may be some time until he's back. Tamao-san, you and the Kurabes have been nothing but kind to me. I can only give you my thanks from the bottom of my heart. The Kurabes? I'm sister with you, so please... Take care of her for me. Don't you worry about a thing, Keitaro-san. I'll take good care of Chihiro-chan. And tell her I the won't be gone for long. The second I get time off, I'll come visit. Keitaro, it's almost time. <laughs> expecting us. What is this shit? You better get going. I'll be back. Do take care, you two. So he doesn't have his scars yet. On his forehead? I promise. So Chihiro is his younger sister, but Chihiro is also the doctor. But the doctor is also Iori. Like, what the fuck? So here we are again, a few months later. What was that just now? Some kind of flash. Lightning, maybe. I guess this is when he meets, uh... Um, from around here, I think. Whatever her name is. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Shihiro's probably worried about me. A new top secret military weapon called a Sentinel. I've been selected as a cadet to pilot it. Air raids have plagued several regions for months now. At this rate, the Americans will completely Dang. destroy Japan. We have to do something. Kiriko san disappeared after that incident, and Professor Doji has gone silent ever since. It just doesn't make sense. The consequences of World War II is fucking State like. Your name. I know you're there. Shift to Japan Prince. in like billions of ways. Who are you? I guess we're gonna see more uh, of this. Shouldn't you be wearing pants? Huh? <laughs> That's what I've been saying. Maybe wearing gym clothes wasn't the best idea. I don't know why you're here, but it's dangerous to be out this late on your own. He has that scar on his Along cheek now. Escort you home. Who are you? Which did he have My that earlier? I'm stationed at the armory nearby, but I'm off duty now, so I was on my way home. So, uh, I mean, yes, she's able to time travel back, and then he gets know. stuck with her, and then she, like, me. tells, uh, whatever the fuck, Jum Jumo, wh what's his name? Which way to your place, Natsuno-san? Good question. Kind of a complicated answer, though. What's that sound? <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> What's going on? An air raid. They're trying to bomb the factory. But that's near where the Karabes live.
Stay here. It should be safe at this distance. But what about you? I have to go help. Wait! Follow him. <laughs> what? Okay. Seriously? Do I have to? Uh, fine, whatever. If everything goes wrong, it's totally your fault. I see. After air raid, Karabi's neighborhood. Hot, hot, hot. Hey, hold on a sec. Bro, they're gonna what die from a nail and all these I don't know. fucking smog and shit. Fine, but just stay there. It's clear here. I'm clearly an expert. Up ahead. You're not going in, are you? I have to. That house up ahead is where my sister's staying. <laughs> this can't be happening. It's completely gone. It must have been a direct hit. Chihiro! Tomao-san! This belongs to Chihiro. How did that survive? Chihiro! Tomao-san! I mean, if that survived, then probably maybe she could have. She made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. Big brother! Chihiro! You're safe. Where's Tamao-san? Right here. Kitaro-san. Oh, hello. It's all gone. We should probably move away from this. Alive, and that's what matters. We ran to the shelters as soon as we heard the sirens. You, 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 <laughs> probably hold off on this explanation, like get out of there. Maybe. <laughs> What is that? Another American weapon? American weapons. You can't stay here. Everyone, get moving. Wait, so did he go to the year like 2187 after all this shit? Because he was older by then, right? I guess that, Everything on that he must have. River is on fire. Looks like it's headed toward Kamazumi next. But then he forgot that he's been in this time, if that was the case. heard the US had an industrial advantage over us. That thing has to be one of their weapons. They finally come for our homeland. And if we don't stop them. <laughs> I love how we just concluded that they're American. Please take care of Chihiro. Big brother. Stay with her and do as you're told. Are we not gonna give her her stuffed animal bag? Tamao san. Can I ask you to look after Natsuno san too? What about you? I'm going back to the armory. I guess I'm just gonna hold on to it. <laughs> okay. Which way is the armory? You stay with Tamao san. She'll keep you safe. Now go. I'll show them that Japan can still fight. This is the day I've been training for. Against the Sentinel. They don't stand a chance. You hear all that? Yeah, you. I know. I'm on it. <laughs> okay. So that was his prologue. Um. 
which we can immediately continue. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. This place isn't too crowded. This is a classic really area. Hang around and think for a bit. Better take advantage of that. Let me think. Nothing's changed today either. Our mother's terrible. I still have it. It's even still Chihiro. They came ashore during the air raid. They're enormous. Must be over 30 meters tall. Instead of wheels, they move on long leg like appendages. Quite a terrifying sight. Like something out of hell. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. Oh, it's in that building? Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert. But I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. So what year is this? Day, they probably said at the start, I just didn't that see moment, it. That fantasy became a reality. Ah, yes. Let us recall the day our fantasy became a reality. Oh, here we are back again here. All out of flying bombs. Electromagnetic rounds are offline. Outputs dropped by 50% in both electromagnetic battering rams. reached its operating limit. So we somehow just... Did someone force him out of it? Where am I? Or like through time? The air raid. Everything was just on fire. All these giant towers with glass windows? What the hell's going on? <sighs> the last thing I remember is being surrounded by those new American weapons and... No, it can't be. I've heard about major US cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my Sentinel too? He must have done it when I lost consciousness. Is it America in his mind just like this super futuristic no, city? <laughs> if the or, or place <laughs> limit, with futuristic cities. Could have passed. But this view says otherwise. It's not my homeland. Somehow I, I mean I, I suppose teleportation makes more fun. sense than uh I guess this is where I'll time travel. But, but he, he he thinks he might have been like knocked out. Like you might have been unconscious when they transported him here. Are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. What are you gonna do about it? How do you? The enemy cannot 
not get their hands on the Sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. You gonna blow it up? I do. I can't activate now, let alone initiate self-destruct. I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the Sentinel recovers. But not because I'm afraid. My country. My little sister. I'd give my life for them at the drop of a hat. But I have to be smart right now. And that means waiting for the Sentinel to be up and running. Okay. Now that I have a plan, I'd better move fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. I'll stay out of sight until it's the right time to move. And then he reaches the ground and he hears everybody speaking Japanese and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like, they speak American and Japanese? Everyone here appears to be Japanese. <laughs> but something's off. These signs show both kanji and the English alphabet. Wait a minute, did, printing, did they Ashitaba combine? Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? Stop by the arcade? Sure. The one at Sun Mall? Nah, the one at Joyland. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came in. I have no idea what they're talking about. Sega, okay. Which doesn't sound I mean, yeah, to me. Sega owns Atlas, so. Did you see him in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Right? Thank God that, um,. Uh, the Japanese school uniforms didn't change at all. That's quite a bit of exposed so he just blend in. It almost seems like a different dialect, but it's definitely Japanese. What what how is their dialect different from the way you're talking? They should they should have gave him like an accent or something. Just a terrible dream, right? Right. It's nothing to worry about. This it's would be pretty epic, up. though. That's why my surroundings appear to be different. To be in this situation. What the risks were going in as Sentinel pilots. Pretty the exact situation, pretty terrible, pretty obviously, but like. That's right. This is how being transported somewhere else. Experienced a similar illusion during the Sentinel. Because that's why so many like. Um... Oh, hello. He's wearing a boy's school uniform, but appears to have a girl's haircut. <laughs> huh? The hell you looking at? This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. This one. Hey, you trying to get your ass kicked? It looks like I've finally gone crazy. You want to see crazy? Hey, stop! 